Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to open and wrap and set up your brand new Casio FX CG50. Firstly, taking out the wrapping requires a little bit of ripping and tearing, but once you've done enough of them, like I have, you get used to it. So here we go, get rid of everything from the packaging and then you're left with a calculator and this here as well. Here's your cable for connecting it to the computer so you can upload data. Here's a cable so you can connect it to another calculator. Inside here, I've also got the batteries to put inside. Just get those out, dispose of that. You've got your quick start guide, that's really, really handy to go through. You've got here something about how to dispose of stuff that can go in the bin, and another how to dispose of stuff but also you've got your warranty. That's something that might be worth keeping just in case. So put those to one side. Next, opening up the batteries. They're wrapped up in like plastic. So if you run your nail down the middle, you can usually take them out that way. There we go. Now, on the calculator itself, keeping the case on are these bits of tape. So remove those. And then the case and the calculator slide. So push up from the bottom, hold in the back, and you can slide the two apart. So I'm gonna put the back to one side. And here, at the rear of the calculator, I can unclip to then put my four AAA batteries in. These are not rechargeable, but you could put rechargeable ones in if you wanted, and then close it up. Slide it back into the back, and then my calculator's turning on. So, unless you want another language, I usually like to keep mine in English. Um, my backlight level, I like to turn that down so that it lasts for longer. But if I'm doing videos, I do turn that up because it's easier to see. Next, auto power off. Um, 30 seconds uh, for the auto power off and the, for the backlight duration. And then 10 minutes for the auto power. It just helps with battery. Next, these are alkaline ones I've put in. It wants you to make sure that they're alkaline ones. The ones that come with them are. So F1 again, and then we finish. Now here you have on your front screen, a list of different apps. You'll see in further videos I've made where it talks about how they talk to one another and it saves everything that you do. The one you'll use most of the time is this one here, Run Matrix. So you can open that one up by either pushing the one key or by scrolling to it with the scroll pad and then pressing your new enter, which is execute. For GCSE, this is the way I like to set up my calculator. So once I'm in here, I go shift setup. And whenever I have a student who buys one of these calculators, I go through this process with them there and then before they take it away. Scroll down. The only two things I like to change is I like to have the derivative on because it gives me more information when I'm sketching graphs about the gradient of it, etc. And then angle change to degrees. Everything else is fine. So I push the exit button to come out of there. Now, if I push the menu button, I'm going to take you to another option as well, which is down here on system. In system, it gives you lots of different things to do. But one of the ones I'm going to do, just go on to the next page here. F6 is I'm going to put a username on this calculator, F2. Putting a username on here, I'll show you when that comes up, means when you turn the calculator off, it shows on the screen your name and you attach a password to it. It can only be changed if you know the password. So it's a really good way of checking whether or not you've got the right calculator or somebody else has got yours. So I'm going to go shift alpha lock because that's an easy way of doing it and then I'm going to edit. Now, because I've been doing lots of Corbett videos, I'm gonna call this Corbett. So I go C O R B E T T, execute my new equal sign, moves me down to the next line. Organization, you can enter that if you want to, and then down again to password. Your password is the thing that you need to do in order to change your username. I'm going to call this one Corbett. Execute. It says it will be registered. F1 for that. 
exit to say it's complete. Now if I come out of here, back to menu, if I turn my calculator off, and if you watch the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see it says Corbett. That's the end of the video on how to unwrap your fancy new Casio calculator.